Hello, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to October Spooky Season. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. If you've been subscribed to my channel for October's past, I usually do a ton of videos in October, and it's a lot of special effects makeup, a lot of fun things like that. I actually don't have as many of those videos or any at the moment uh, planned this year, but we're still going to do a lot of videos. There'll still be a lot of uploads. I'm just not totally sure what they all are yet, but I thought today for October 1st, I would do like a big Halloween haul and take you through all of the things that I have bought this spooky season so far. There's a lot more than there should have been. Um, and just kind of like show you what I can physically in front of you and insert footage of other things that I couldn't pick up or couldn't bring over here because I meant to not go hardcore this year and then I did. But the thing is, like, when I'm Halloween shopping, I'm not looking for pumpkins and ghosts, right? I'm looking for witchy things and things that aren't really, like, Halloween-specific. Like, to me, as soon as you put a jack-o'-lantern on something, then it's Halloween-specific, which is fine. But I'm looking for more things that I can keep out all year round that feel sort of witchy and not as seasonal. Um, so for me... That's, you'll see a lot of witchy stuff um, in this video. Um, Michael's in particular, we're going to start with that. But they went really hardcore on the witchy theme this year. And so therefore, they're, they are the longest part of my sort of list. Like, this is my paper and this whole side is Michael's because... Yeah, I, I noticed that a lot of other people didn't really buy a lot from Michael's this year. But I did because they had a lot of cute little things. Like, these bows in my hair. I just made them. And this ribbon with the witch flying on the broom. She is from Michael's this year. I didn't even put her on my list, but that ribbon is from Michael's. Like, they had lots of cute little things this year, um, and so that's kind of what I wanted to go through. I don't want you to consider this a complete list, because who knows? I could buy something else still, but the unfortunate reality of the situation is October comes, and they start shifting Halloween out of stores and moving Christmas in. It's just the way it is. Um, I don't love it, but I mean, at the same time, we've had Halloween in some stores since June, so I can't really complain. Absent from the list this year actually is Bath and Body Works. I did buy a couple of things from them, but they were like fall. Um, like I bought the, the, whatever it's called, cafe something, uh, candle, and I bought a little candle holder that's like a tree stump, but those weren't from their Halloween lines. I bought nothing from their Halloween lines because I didn't really like them this year. Also, I am sweating my butt off. It is six million degrees in here. The air conditioning is on. I'm gonna do my best to edit out any sound of it from this video, but if you can hear like a little buzzing, I'm so sorry, but it's so hot in here. So first and foremost from Michaels, I bought this shirt, Spooky Season. I love this shirt. As soon as I saw it, I had to buy it. They actually had this logo on like a, a doormat this year too, and if I had an outside door, I would have bought it, but I thought it was really cute. So I bought this shirt and I bought the ribbon. What else did I buy? Oh, I got this sign. Now, I was really noodling about the sign because I didn't really know what to do with it. But it says Witch's Garden and it's got like a raven on it. It's part of their like, they have like this all white spooky collection this year that I think is really cool. And it also really works for like a spooky Christmas if you wanted to do that. Um, I really didn't know if I wanted to buy the sign, but I actually made room for it over my plant area. And I think I had a coupon too, so I made sure I picked that up. I also got this teacup, which I still don't really know what to do with. Um, but it says w Witch's Brew on it, and it was part of that same line. I'm gonna be so honest with you. I bought this teacup without hesitation the first moment I saw it, and then I never saw it again since. Like, they only had two of them in stock when I first bought it, and I guess someone else bought the other one, and then it never came back. So I'm very glad that I picked it up. I often have regrets when it comes to Michael's that I didn't buy something because they seldom restock the Halloween lines. So I've kind of developed this buy it while, while you can. <laughs> attitude and so that's why I bought the teacup right away and it still is just sitting here usually it has my big roller in it I don't really know what to do with it maybe I could put like some succulents in it <sighs> I don't know but I'm a hoarder so I'm glad I have it one of the most handy things that I bought this year is Michael's always does like reusable bags that are Halloweeny but this year was the best because it's I think I have it I did grab it okay so this year they did this one that's just spider webs and this is very like everyday spooky to me like it's not Halloween specific at all and because it's got that sort of plasticky texture to it rather than just being canvas I have a lot of canvas bags but not a lot of plastic ones like this it feels more durable and it feels like I can put like things that are maybe cold like if I'm grocery shopping or whatever in here I really love this bag um and I take it with me I think I've brought it with me everywhere since I first bought it so that was definitely a good purchase for Michaels I also bought this okay this was in like the kids toy section I forgot to grab it so I'll have to insert footage but it's a little cauldron and it's 
like an eight ball. They also had a skull, I think, and maybe a pumpkin, but the, I love the cauldron more. And so it's the same idea as a as a uh, eight ball. You ask the question, you shake it a little bit, and then it gives you the answer. Uh, I don't know how many sides that thing in there has because I feel like I get a different answer literally every single time. But I just think it's it's a really cute little idea, and I I don't know. It's just a goofy little little like silly thing that I love to have, and I just really enjoy it. I also bought, I don't know if you can see it behind me, but my um, fiddly fig is in this big cauldron that I bought from Michael's a couple years ago. Well, this year they brought, they had like a mini, mini, mini version. So I bought it and I put one of my like crystal spheres in it and it sits on my desk. And it's just really cute to have like this matching set of cauldrons. But one has a big plant in it and the other one has a little tiny crystal. One of the very first things I got from Michael's this year is this witch uh, light up neon sign. I still haven't really figured out where to put it. I'll be so honest with you. It's annoying to me that it's battery operated and I like don't have a remote for it because I like wish I could put it up on a bookshelf or something, but then I can't really turn it on because I'm three feet tall. Uh, I guess I could use one of my grabbies and loop it and bring it down, but still. It's just, I don't know. I think it's really cute and I bought it that first day and I don't regret buying it, but this is one of those things that they have had in stock every time I've been in there. Uh, they only had three that first day, and I was like, what if they never get it back? They've had it every time. But I don't regret it. Once I find a spot to put it, I'll like it a lot more. But right now, it just sits over by my sewing machine. <laughs> and then the last thing I bought from Michael's, uh, I don't have any regrets about it. It is silly, and it was also in that kid section, but it's a bucket. And I have had candy in it for, like, the last couple of days because we use this bucket. My friends and I make crafts, and we do markets together. And I, we, we bought all this candy for the market, and, um, we put it in this bucket. And I think this is going to be like the official candy bucket now every time we do markets. And it's got bats and witches and moons and stuff. They have a lot of things with this sort of pattern on it this year and I think they're very cute. I think I only have one thing from Dollar Tree and I didn't even buy it myself. Alyssa bought it for me but it's this really cute little cup. It's just like a little glass jar um, and it's got cauldrons and mushrooms and skulls and moths and bats and stuff on it. Um, the employee at Dollar Tree told Alyssa that they had these in stock once before and they sold out like within the, within the day. So when Alyssa was there and they were putting them out, she grabbed us both one and I really appreciate it. I don't really know, like maybe I'll, maybe I will, will use it for beverages, but I haven't fully decided yet. I don't have a ton for Home Sense and Winners. If you're not familiar, um, it's sort of home goods in the States. And I think Canada and the States both have Marshalls. Um, it's all sort of the same idea. So the first thing I bought there this year was a mug. That's a quite a big mug and I have a plant in it right now. But it's got witch hats all, all over it. I had actually seen this mug in one of the Facebook groups. And told myself that if I saw it I would buy it. And then like literally the next day after I told myself this, my stepdad was like, don't buy any more mugs. Because <laughs> like pretty much every mug in this house, and I'm not, like there's three other adults in this house. Pretty much every mug in this house I have purchased and they're all witchy. <laughs> so when I saw this mug at uh, Winners and it was only like seven bucks, I was like, I can't leave it here. So I brought it home and I put a plant in it. <laughs> but that, I bought that and then I bought this notepad. I think I bought this in the last vlog actually. Oh, the ribbon came undone. But it just says, uh, today's list of magic and spells. I always try to get a new sort of witchy notepad every year. As you can tell, this is one from years past. Um, and then this one, I really like that it came with the broom pen. I do have another broom pen that I use on a re regular basis. But I just thought this one was cute. And then I also bought this canvas bag. Um, that I think I also bought this in the last vlog. This is like maybe one of my favorite bags I've ever seen. First of all, it's humongous. Second of all, it's just like plants and spider webs and birds and skulls. And I just feel like this was a really good find. They only had the one. My friend Alyssa really likes this too. She's jealous. Um, I would have bought it for her too if they had a two, but I'm selfish, so I just bought it for me. I th like, this is just the, the general vibe that I'm going for, right? Like, it's sort of gothy and sort of witchy, but there's also plants. And it's also, like, not too scary. It's kind of, like, light. I don't know, like, this is... This is ideal to me, so I'm very glad that I bought this. When I'm not using the spider bag, this is the bag that I'm using, which is kind of sad because I have a literal closet full of tote bags. And I just put my list of things that I bought in here. And we're not on the video. The rest of this list is Spirit Halloween. One of the things that I really wanted from Spirit Halloween this year, as soon as I saw it on the website and I did end up buying it, are these like spider web things in your windows. They're supposed to be like sun catchers, I guess. Uh, TLDR, they are not as cool in person as I thought they would be. Not only do they not stick to the window like a sun catcher, a typical window cling, you wet the window and then they just like stick, right? This came with like sticky bits 
and the sticky bits gave out immediately. Like, they stuck on for half a second. So I actually have these attached to the window with glue dots, so they're never coming out. And in the morning, when the sun pours in my window, it doesn't cast any rainbows. I thought it would, it doesn't. So they're just cute. I still like them, we're still gonna leave them up, but I don't necessarily recommend them if you see them. Unless you think they're cute regardless, which I do, which is why they're staying up, but it's just not what I thought it was gonna be. I do like them though. I don't know. They also had bats. I didn't like the bats as much as the spider webs, you know? I also bought, they have like a whole Shrek section at um, Spirit Halloween this year. I love it. There's a lot of very goofy things in the Shrek section. But my sister and I bought Shrek hair claws. So one is his face. And the other one I think is passable for real life wear. It's like purple and it's got mushrooms on it and little Shrek faces. But I feel like from a normal distance away, you can't tell that it's Shrek faces. So it's like an inside joke with yourself that you're wearing a Shrek hair claw. The hair claw that is his face is, that's, that's his face. <laughs> but uh, the other one's a little more subtle. And then the rest of the things that I bought are clothes and I need my hands to show you. So I bought this vest first and foremost. And I actually have yet to wear it because I don't really know what to wear underneath it. So I would like your ideas because I just want to wear it. Like look how cute it is. But it needs something on, and I don't have like any sort of peasanty tops. I really only own t-shirts. <laughs> But I think it's so cute. I don't know. What would you wear underneath this? Oh, it came untied. You get it anyway. I thought that was so cute. And then I bought two t-shirts. Oh, I bought a witch hat, first and foremost. I didn't own the purple one, but my friend Alyssa does. And we're doing a market together right at the end of October and it's Halloween themed. And so she's gonna wear the purple witch hat and so I bought the same one so that we would match. I don't like this lace though. I think the lace is ugly. Like, without undoing the plastic, like I just think the lace is kind of ugly. So I'm going to be taking the lace off. Um, it's just attached in a couple spots with like a single stitch. So unpacking it should be fairly easy. And then the two t-shirts are in here. So both t-shirts I bought from Spirit Halloween are Stephen Rhodes t-shirts because I thought they were fun. So the first one is this one, Witchcrafts. It's a bunch of kids. Look like a, look, looking like they're summoning something. Making crafts. The little basket of yarn at the bottom has a crochet hook and some scissors. It's very me. This actual shirt, like the one that's in my head, is Alyssa's. I bought it for her because they didn't have her size before. And I found it, but I had the same shirt just in my drawer. And then they were doing BOGO on the shirts today, so I bought myself a different shirt. And this one is... Portal to the Cat Dimension. <laughs> they used to have one that said Adopt a Familiar and it was black and it had like a blue bat and a blue bird and a blue cat. And I loved that shirt. But I think I wore it in a Halloween video past and got liquid latex on it. <laughs> so when I lay it all out like that, it doesn't look like I bought a ton of things this Halloween season. Maybe because I was able to talk about it all in one quick little video. <laughs> but it was a lot. It was kind of expensive. So unless I find something that I really adore, I'm done buying things this year. Uh, but you never know. Like, what if someone gets something really cute? I can't be held responsible. I just can't. <laughs> but anyway, um, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what I got that you maybe like um, and what you think I should wear under that vest thing. <laughs> um, also, let me know what kinds of videos you're hoping to see this October. I have some ideas already based on other videos that I've watched and other ideas that I've had, but I would love to know what you're looking to see. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!